a synchronous vibrator finally gave up my dad was using this as a daily player so um, got some use out of it instead of spending uh, more time on the synchronous vibrator I'm going to go ahead and uh, convert this uh, farm radio here to an AC set and I'm going to use a power transformer so we don't have to worry about an isolation transformer and uh, you can see I've uh, sized one here I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill these holes and uh, get the transformer mounted and we'll start wiring up the uh, rectifiers Okay, there you can see I have the uh, P-T-292 transformer in place. So here's a look at the schematic. You can see this particular uh, radio has this kind of oddball configuration where the uh, speaker field coil resides in that uh, 6 volt string here. In addition, you'll notice the uh, on-off switch here was in the uh, 6 volt string so that was reconfigured to be in the uh, primary side of the winding as well. In addition everything that resides uh, somewhat here in the center right up to um, C11 here was removed. I tried to uh, reutilize the uh, synchronous vibrator transformer here to see if the uh, windings would allow me to reverse them or reconfigure to get the uh, needed voltages and uh, unfortunately I was unable to uh, do so thus the uh, reason for using a uh, separate transformer again I could have used uh, rectifiers and uh, bypassed using a transformer but my dad's going to use this as a daily player and without an isolation transformer so I didn't want to risk anything with a uh, hot chassis so the tie-in point for the new uh, bridge rectifier was right here at uh, point C11 and you can see I leveraged C11 and C12 which I had already replaced in the uh, original restoration that I did along with the uh, choke here number six and uh, that's where my uh, B plus filtering takes place so that made it uh, nice and uh, simple and easy to uh, provide. Leveraging the uh, synchronous vibrator tube socket here to do my uh, tie-ins from the other bridge rectifier coming off of my uh, 10 and a half volt winding back to the uh, voltage regulator. Everything was uh, coupled through uh, back to the underside of the uh, tube socket itself. You can see my leads here just a little short on the uh, transformer. I'll just have to uh, extend those just a bit, slide some heat shrink on, so uh, I'll be doing that next here. Off camera, my uh, green connection point will be uh, one of my secondaries that I'll be utilizing, feeding a uh, voltage regulator. This should uh, measure about uh, 10 and a half volts AC at about uh, 2 amps of uh, current. You can see here I've got everything uh, soldered up. I elected to use the uh, coil method just in case I ever need to get in here, quickly heat these up and uh, pull them loose in the future. Just to uh, simplify things and a little heat shrink here that I'll apply. And then we'll need to extend the uh, primary leads as well. And the uh, yellow leads I'll uh, just cut off and uh, place some heat shrink over the end of those. And just to ensure I don't have any issues here with any of the uh, conductor here making its way through the uh, heat shrink, just a uh, second layer here, a little shorter, right over the uh, center of the uh, solder two location. Snip the uh, tin side of the uh, lead, extended a little heat shrink past the end of the wire. We'll stuff those back underneath the chassis out of the way. So here's where I'm at right now. You can see I had an old discarded uh, tube. Broke the uh, glass off, 
salvage the uh, base small chip here, a little epoxy. Six pin, which will fit into the uh, synchronous vibrator socket. Cut me up a, a circuit board here to be able to wedge it in and uh, fit that in. Have my input uh, filter and my voltage regulator as well. The LM338 adjustable. You can see I have it in a fixed position just using a uh, 250 ohm and 1000 ohm resistor to get me close to uh, hopefully 6 volts out when things are uh, said and done. So uh, real simple design you can see here. And uh, going back to the uh, radio itself here, you can see the full wave bridge rectifier mounted here. So I'm going to tie this back in down to the uh, synchronous vibrator tube socket and a fuse as well was added here in the circuit. Just finished uh, tying in everything here for the uh, transformer, the new transformer primary. And I tried to neaten everything up here best I could and protect all the uh, leads themselves there, leaving the uh, bridge rectifiers as well, as you can see. And I've left the uh, fuse out because um, I need to uh, measure the current and make sure I select the uh, right size uh, fuse here. Let me uh, double check everything, then we'll uh, bring everything up on the uh, variac and uh, look at the current and voltages as well. My idea of using the uh, LM338 voltage regulator here is really not working out, so um, I just can't dissipate enough uh, heat here. And uh, after about 10 or 15 minutes of uh, playtime on the radio, the uh, unit starts to um, heat up so much that the uh, voltage drops, of course. But uh, there's a backup plan here that I can use. Knowing that my original transformer I placed here as my uh, substitute was a little on the high side anyway. The uh, primary being north of my uh, design B+. Plus and the uh, heater uh, filaments that I'm using here being uh, north of 10 and a half. I'm actually going to uh, use a uh, voltage dropping resistor and uh, mount it in the uh, primary side and I'll uh, show the calculations here and I think even though I'm still around uh, 10 and a half volts or so off of the uh, bridge rectifier here I can reduce my uh, input line voltage and uh, get a lot closer to my original B plus design here and still uh, hit uh, 6.3 volts for my uh, heaters here for the uh, tubes are very close to that within uh, 10%. I mean you can see here I scuffed up the back side of the uh, power resistor that I'm going to be using. That again being a uh, 56 ohm 25 watt and uh, see if my uh, arctic silver thermal adhesive is still uh, good not dried out use that to uh, place it uh, right here on the uh, back side on the inside piece where my uh, primary leads uh, route through it's going to be a nice tie-in point where I've made my uh, connection point here to extend the uh, primary leads I'll just cut that and uh, place the uh, resistor here and we should be good to go You can see here I've got the power resistor placed where I want it. So uh, we'll just let that continue to uh, dry, the epoxy that is. And then I'll clip the leads here and uh, solder them in place. Put a little heat shrink on them. Then we'll power the radio up and uh, test the uh, voltages once more. Everything uh, tied in now. Nicely uh, done and neat. Let's uh, bring this thing up 
on the uh, variac and uh, look at our voltages now. I elected to uh, just jumper the uh, wire after removing the voltage regulator. Uh, that way I don't have to go back underneath and uh, redo anything. I'll leave a uh, schematic behind in the uh, radio with the modifications just for uh, anyone in the future that has to work on it, including myself.